<laughs> the automaton is one of the eight playable races in barony compared to the rest they're actually quite easy for beginners since they're still friendly with other humans and shopkeepers but the other features that automaton comes with make him a very confusing and difficult race to play i've noticed some people are in need of help figuring out the automaton and the mechanist so that's kind of why i'm here in this video i'll be discussing some interesting tips and information about the automaton mechanist as well as some additional info for its racing class individually that i feel every automaton or mechanist enjoyer should know hopefully by the end of the video you will be just a little bit more confident in your abilities to use the racing class effectively if you would like me to make a barony guide on something else in the future feel free to pitch your ideas in the comments below i look through the comments for ideas on guides like this all the time so don't be afraid to share your struggles and ideas all right let's get started something you can do to make your runs easier from the very beginning is loot the starting level you can collect the torches off the walls and turn it into scrap for tinkering and heat you can also take the book off this table for some heat later as well gemstones and most scrolls can be consumed to heat your boiler to the extreme as well as give you some heat for your mana as well fire scrolls and firestorm potions do the same thing only ramped up to 11 completely maxing out not only your boiler but your mana heat pool as well if you're mentally unstable enough you can actually swim in lava to nobody's surprise, this still hurts like a bit, but you'll actually gain mana and boiler heat in the process. If your boiler is superheated, but your mana heat is below half, you begin generating more mana at a much faster rate than before. Due to your weakness to magic, gnomish mines is an absolute nightmare. Try and be extra careful when you know lightning gnomes are nearby, or try to avoid them altogether until you're strong enough to kill them quickly before they can blast you. Speaking of gnomish mines, the automaton can turn the beginning room into a death trap with his sentry bots and bear traps. Dummy bots are tanky for their cost, allowing them to take aggro from trolls and lightning gnomes. If you love the idea of not living, you can also toss down a noisemaker and let all of China know that you've arrived. Good luck. You can use lockpicks for so much more than just unlocking doors and chests. You can even tinker your own traps and make them more sensitive or change their effect entirely. For example, teleportation traps can be turned into receivers, allowing you to choose where enemies and allies alike may go. Bear traps, while heavy, can be extremely powerful when used correctly. Enemies that step on bear traps will be temporarily stunned and begin bleeding as well. This leaves them wide open to attack. The bleeding effect can also be very beneficial if anybody in your party plays as a vampire. Bear traps, freeze traps, and flame traps can all be stacked together to do ridiculous amounts of damage in one shot. You can use these forbidden strategies to completely obliterate anything in an instant, including the final boss if you're swag enough. And that about does it for this guide. Be sure to support the video so hopefully everybody who needs to see this video will find it. If you have any other questions about Automaton or the Mechanist, feel free to ask in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer as many of them as I can. And don't forget to leave suggestions for other guide ideas as well. Okay, bye-bye.